Our next speaker is Annie Arnold, whose title is Modified Graphene Biodegradable Bone Implants. When a bone experiences an injury, such as a clean break or even a compound fracture, if given enough time and proper care, it will heal on its own. However, if the trauma is severe enough, a critically sized bone defect can result, which does not heal on its own. Such bone injuries usually arise from military or automobile accidents or even childhood maladies and can lead to severe pain and discomfort and in severe cases, loss of function. Currently, there are two methods that are being used to treat such bone injuries. The first uses tissue from the own patient's body that is harvested from another area in order to patch up the injury site. However, this can actually be pretty problematic. Even if you're using the patient's own bone tissue, it actually increases the risk of infection at the injury site. So, medical doctors tend to generally use permanent implants such as titanium. Titanium implants have their issues as well. For instance, titanium is much stiffer than natural bone. This causes the bone surrounding the implant to slowly degrade over time, which is one of the leading causes of implant failure. To circumvent these issues, tissue engineering has become a competitive technology. For instance, in my research, I am interested in developing a bone implant that slowly degrades over time as new bone replaces it, so that at the end of the injury, the implant is completely resorbed into the body and the injury is healed. Now, what I use in my lab is modified graphene materials in order to accomplish this. Now, you probably have all heard about the potential of graphene, from its superconductivity to its high mechanical properties. Now, you probably have never considered graphene as potential for bone regeneration. Well, as it turns out, oxidized graphene can actually be modified to mimic properties that are found in bone, as well as promote bone regrowth. With that in mind, we're essentially using pencil lead as a starting material because we have developed the chemistry necessary to create a material that has tunable mechanical properties as well as biocompatibility in order to create a material that we can tailor to the specific needs of a patient. The overall goal is to create a material that will increase the longevity and quality of life of patients that have experienced a traumatic bone injury. Thank you.